Carposts is one of the most basal primates, it lived around 58 million years ago in North America. Paleontologists supports a co-evolution between tropical fruiting angiosperms and early primates where angiosperms provide nectar and fruits in return for dispersing the seed for tropical rainforest plants. Later appears arboreal gliding Ermoptera, using flaps of extra skin between their legs to glide from higher to lower locations. Some species of colugos are still alive today like the sunder flying lemur. It pretty looks the same as its oligos in relatives with same behavior. It is mainly nocturnal and sleeps high with intense foliage in the treetops or in holes in trees. Darwinius was first though to be at the root of human evolution, and was thus our oldest direct ancestor. There was an immediate backlash from the scientific community. Some experts maintained that Darwinius wasn't all it was cracked up to be, especially since it was closely related to another well-known early primate, Nuthartus. Most at issue was the TV documentary's breathless use of the phrase missing link implying that Darwinias somehow led directly to modern humans. Strzirins like the II are defined by their wet nose. They also have a smaller brain than comparably sized simians and large olfactory lobes for smell. Most of them were quite small, except the Megalodipus with its one, five meters long. It was slow moving and when humans arrived on Madagascar 2300 years ago it was one of the easiest animal they could hunt. Its present descendant are smaller and still live on Madagascar. They colonized the island after its separation from Africa and Antarctica. Any extended ocean voyage without fresh water or food would prove difficult for a large, warm-blooded mammal, but today many small, nocturnal species of lemur exhibit heterothermy, which allows them to lower their metabolism and become dormant while living off fat reserves. However, this trait has not been observed in the closely related lorisoids studied to date, and could have evolved on Madagascar in response to the island's harsh environmental conditions. As a result of the island's long isolation from neighboring continents, Madagascar is home to an abundance of plants and animals found nowhere else on Earth. Lorizids are nocturnal and, unlike the closely related Galagos, they never jump. Some have slow deliberate movements, whilst others can move with some speed across branches. Most of them are endangered species, habitat destruction is a major threat. It is widely trapped and killed for use in supposed remedies for eye diseases and get killed by dog, they are also used for pet trade. Like modern tarsiers, Necrolema possessed long fingers and toes, and a lengthy balancing tail, these features may indicate that it leapt frequently. Teal hardina is an old genus and it live worldwide. There are three hypotheses that have been proposed to try and explain the geographic distribution. Africa was the origination of the primates and then they dispersed to Europe, Greenland and finally North America. Primates originated in Asia or Africa and dispersed through North America and finally reaching Western Europe. Asia was the primates origination, they then dispersed eastward towards North America and westward to Europe. Platterini means flat-nosed, 
and their noses are flatter than those of other simians, with sideways facing nostrils. They descend from African simians that colonized South America, a line that split off about 40 million years ago. Marmosets are highly active, living in the upper canopy of forest trees, and feeding on insects, fruit, and leaves. They have long lower incisors, which allow them to chew holes in tree trunks and branches to harvest the gum inside. Some species are specialized feeders on gum. According to recent research, marmosets and tamarins exhibit germline chimerism, which is not known to occur in nature in any primates other than calitrichids. Due to their small size compared to other primates, they are an easy target for predatory birds, snakes, and mammals. The common squirrel monkey is rated as least concern, but is among many rainforest animals whose status may be harmed by deforestation. The species has also been captured extensively for the pet trade and for medical research. The tufted capuchin has been observed using containers to hold water, using sticks, using sponges to absorb juice and using stones as hammer. White-faced sakis vary from many other primates including their close relative, in that they are predominantly leapers, which is how they travel 70% of the time. The bright red facial skin is a sign of good health and allows for the determination of a healthy mate. Due to the Uagari's location, it is extremely common for these animals to contract malaria. Protopithecus is a morphologically primitive anthropoid which occurred near the base of the Katarine radiation. Its features have led to a general agreement on the phylogenetic affinity of Catopithecus as a sister taxon of Propliopithecine. <laughs> The Old World monkeys are native to Africa and Asia today, inhabiting a range of environments from tropical rainforest to savanna, shrubland and mountainous terrain, and are also known from Europe in the fossil record. They include many of the most familiar species of non-human primates, such as baboons and the macaques. Most of them are at least partially omnivorous, but all prefer plant matter, which forms the bulk of their diet. Leaf monkeys are the most vegetarian. <laughs> Proboscis monkey is endemic to the island of Borneo and its total population has decreased by more than 50% in the past 36 to 40 years to 2008 due to ongoing habitat loss because of logging and oil palm plantations. The Debratsas monkey is one of the most widespread African primates that live in forests, it communicates with booming sounds, shaking tree branches, and a variety of facial expressions and movements. Macaques have a very intricate social structure and hierarchy. If a macaque of a lower level in the social chain is eaten berries and none are left for a higher level macaque, then the one higher in status can, within this social organization, remove the berries from the other monkey's mouth. The Japanese macaque is a very intelligent species. The Hamadryas baboon was a sacred animal to the ancient Egyptians and appears in various roles in ancient Egyptian religion, hence its alternative name of sacred baboon.
The Gelida has several adaptations for its terrestrial and graminivorous lifestyle, they are the only grass-eating primates. Major of its threats are a reduction of their range as a result of agricultural expansion and shooting as crop pests. Mandrillas are the world's largest monkeys. Charles Darwin wrote in The Descent of Man that no other member in the whole class of mammals is colored in so extraordinary a manner as the adult male mandrills. The gibbons, great apes and humans are held in evolutionary biology to share a common ancestral lineage, which may have included proconsul. Its name implies that it is ancestral to the chimpanzee, which if true would also make it ancestral to the rest of the apes. The primary feature linking proconsul with extant apes is its lack of a tail, just like the largibon. Gigantopithecus were the largest known primates that ever lived, it may have become extinct approximately 100,000 years ago because the climate changed during the Pleistocene era. The Bornean orangutan is a critically endangered species, with deforestation, palm oil plantations and hunting posing a serious threat to its continued existence. The age of the Hominini subfamily is estimated at some 14 to 12.5 million years, its separation into Gorillini and Hominini is estimated to have occurred at about 8 to 10 million years ago during the late Miocene. Today, gorillas live in tropical forests with acid soils that rarely preserve fossils, although no fossil gorillas have been reported where many fossils from the human lineage have been found. Speciation from chimpanzees to Homo appears to have been a long, drawn-out process. There were periods of hybridization between population groups and a process of alternating divergence and hybridization that lasted several million years. Along with the common chimpanzee, the bonobo is the closest extant relative to humans. Because the two species are not proficient swimmers, the formation of the Congo River 1.5 to 2 million years ago possibly led to the speciation of the bonobo. Sahelanthropus existed during the estimated duration of the ancestral chimpanzee human speciation events but paleontologists suggest that it lived too early to be a direct human ancestor. The toe and pelvic structure of Ardipithecus suggest to some researchers that the organism walked erect. Later, Australopithecus species played a significant part in human evolution the genus Homo being derived from Australopithecus at some time after three million years ago. In addition, they were the first hominids to possess certain genes, which increase the length and ability of neurons in the brain. One of the Australopithecus species eventually became the Homo genus in Africa around two million years ago. Homo erectus developed primitive tools and may have used fire. There is archaeological evidence that Homo erectus cooked their food. The Neanderthal Genome Project revealed that, through interbreeding, Neanderthals may have contributed to the DNA of modern humans, likely between 50,000 and 60,000 years ago. These modern humans may have introduced a disease that contributed to the extinction of Neanderthals, and that may be added to other recent explanations for their extinction.